welcome everyone so today we are going to understand how to find the value of x and literally many people fail to solve this kind of a question the reason for that is the answer in this particular case is there are two different answer why like that please understand whenever you have a variable which is square and it is equal to some value let's say that's a perfect square like 25 in this case so when you take square roots on both sides you have to remember it will be in terms of plus minus so i can say value of a comes out to be plus minus 5 so similarly over here i can say x plus 5 equals to either plus 5 or i can say x minus 5 equals to minus 5 so now subtracting 5 on both sides sorry x plus 5 equals to minus 5 okay subtracting 5 on both sides what you get is see x plus 5 minus 5 gets you 0 so x plus 0 just gets you x and 5 minus 5 also gets you just 0 this is one answer another answer again we are subtracting minus 5 on both sides so we have x plus 5 minus 5 again gets you 0 so x plus 0 gets you just x and minus 5 minus 5 gets you minus 10 remember when you have two minuses the operation to be done is plus the operation which we'll do is plus and the sign carried is the sign of the greater number so here in this case both are equal so we'll take the same sign which is negative let's put it in the question so we'll take x equals to 0 so 0 plus 5 the whole square that gets you just 5 square that gets you 25 then we have minus 10 plus 5 the whole square so here basically we are trying to subtract and sign will be of a bigger number which will be what minus 5 the whole square now square of a negative number will always get you a positive value which is 25 so in both the cases i got my rhs back so i can say value of x is either minus 10 or just 0 that's it for today i will see you in the next video